guys, it's Matt here from Cruise Punk and today we got another project for the 91 Integra. Today we're going to paint the bow cover of the Integra. Um, this is what it looks like right now. Um, you know, if you get these older cars, the paint on the bow cover starts chipping off over the years. And today we're going to paint this black and um, we're still debating if we want to do gold or uh, silver because that's the only paint that we have right now. Um, but before we start, uh, I'm going to show you guys all the products that we got and including the price. So if you want to do this yourself, you get a good idea. You get an idea of how much you're going to spend on this. Alright guys, this is going to be all, almost all the products that you're probably going to need to do this work. Um, first right here, we have the uh, valve cover gasket. Um, this is probably going to be around $30. Um, price range could be different, depends on what kind of vehicle you're going to be doing. Um, some scrubby tools um, we already had this so I'm not really sure how much these are but I'll put like a price range um, for these um, we got some aircraft removal uh, paint removal stuff like that would work um, this is about $15 at AutoZone but I'm pretty sure you can get something cheaper probably like at Walmart or um, Ace Hardware or something like that um, and then we got the paint that we're going to use. Uh, this is just like a matte black finish. And um, some sandpaper. And also, you don't need this. You don't have to do it. But we also got some new spark plugs as well. Um, just because since we're going to be taking it out, just might as well just put some new ones in there. It's great to have new ones in there anyway. Alright guys, first we got to take the valve cover off. Um, it's going to be a couple of bolts that we're going to have to take off. Um, it's going to be 10 millimeter bolts. So we're going to take that off right now, get it on the ground, and we're going to start uh, sanding it off. Get them out of the way and tuck it there. That should be fine. Now we got a few more of these things, but they'll pop out when we pull the cover. I'll probably just try to take them off just in case. Got a nice flat head here. Oh, that was a lot easier. Bam. Some of these will be caked on, especially if you have oil leaks. Now off. Got some oil on it, so. I like how you just have those laying around your house. Yeah, I know. So now that the engine's open, it's probably a good idea to, if you have something to cover this up with, go ahead and cover it up. If you don't, just uh, close the hood because you don't want any like dirt or debris going straight into your engine. I guess you could use a microfiber cloth or like a tarp, just something to like cover it up, something that's really clean and doesn't have any dirt on it. Before you go ahead and like spray this down and remove the paint, make sure you got rid of all your little seals here. We're going to pull these off. Obviously you want to take off the oil cap, put that somewhere safe. And then the O-rings on the back. Sometimes they seat in the engine, in this case they pull, got pulled off with the valve cover. So if you're planning on reusing these, make sure you take them off because you definitely don't want to like spray paint over that. Make sure all your gaskets are off and then you're good to remove the paint. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is use our aircraft remover to spray down the valve cover. So I'm gonna spray it down, let it soak for like 10, 15 minutes. If you have more time, you can wait longer, but what that's gonna do is it's gonna work into the paint and help remove it. So after we spray it down, we should just be able to like power wash it off with a hose and uh, hopefully all the paint will just come right out. Put 
push and it should suck up the plug. Got one plug. Doesn't look terrible. Yeah, sometimes these things get jammed in there. And you really gotta pull. Yep. There's the old plug. So, spark plugs. So if you don't have a special spark plug gas or a socket that has like a little rubber core to grab the plug, you can actually just take one of your uh, ignition wires and uh, pick up the plug with the wire. It'll stick in and you can pull it out that way after you loosen it with a regular socket. So it's nice to have a spark plug socket, but it's not necessary to get the job done. So now, when you set it in, just go ahead and line it up. Stick it in with this, so that when you put it down, oh sh <laughs> I didn't push it enough. All right, go ahead and get it lined up with your spark plug socket. Just kind of push it in, so it's nice and seated. So that way you can guide it in there. And it won't like fall all the way in there, which is important. What I'm gonna do is just get it threaded, and then when I feel more resistance on the drill, I'm gonna slow down. Like right there, I feel resistance, so then we can pull. Okay, we might have to. The socket got stuck. So the goal is when you set it in, push it in like a tiny bit of the way, but don't push it in all the way because that's all the way. It's going to make it more difficult to get out. You're probably just going to get your socket stuck inside there. So use this to guide it in so your spark plug doesn't just drop in there. And then turn it so there are a few threads in and then you can pull release. So now you want to switch this out for a regular 5A socket. You don't need the spark plug one anymore. Here's our regular socket. As you can see it doesn't have the rubber piece in there. So now if you have a torque wrench um, set it to 15 pounds because that's the torque, ste torque spec on the spark plug. If you don't have a torque wrench, go ahead and turn it till it feels seated and then do like a quarter turn. You want it to be snug but not over tight. So now you can just spin it around. Right now it's not really tight. It's getting there though. These are pretty deep sockets, so it'll take a while. If you're in a rush, you can use a drill. But now, I'm getting more resistance, so just carefully, slowly turn it, and then two clicks, 15 pounds, check. Repeat that for the rest of them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, spray off the hose. It's helpful if you have a power washer, obviously we just have a garden hose, so we're gonna see what happens. But yeah, moment of truth, let's see how much how much of this paint actually comes off. So I'm going to take a step back because I don't want to get soaked or covered in nasty 20 year old paint.
splash paint stripper. <laughs> That's funny, our freaking, oh there we go. Our test paints actually yeah. didn't really come off. Yeah, some of that stuff we might need to put more uh, aircraft remover. We just finished uh, getting the paint off. This is probably about as good as it's gonna get. Now, what we did was we went ahead and sanded out some of these rough spots. They're like little pieces of metal just kinda sticking out over here. So we sanded that down. And now we're just gonna kinda dry this. Keep it at an angle against the sun. It should dry up in a bit. And uh, once it's completely dry, we're gonna wipe it down. Make sure there's no dirt on it. And then, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and start spraying it with some fresh black paint. Yeah guys, make sure when you guys sand out um, the metal, make sure you take your time because prep work is way more important than painting it. Painting it is like the easiest process, but prepping is way more important. So once this dries up, we're gonna start applying the paint. So the next step here is to mask off any area that we don't wanna get paint in. So pretty much if you think about it, this lip is going to be covered up by a uh, valve seal for the spark plugs. So mask, mask, mask. Getting all these little holes here. Just go ahead and throw in some mask and tape around that. Oil cap, uh, valve, crankcase breather. Uh, taking off the lettering here it's very carefully I got some acetone on here on this rag I'm trying to scrape off the lettering without hitting anything else it's, it's the easier. hardest part yeah it's easier to do it when the paint's still drying because then it'll come off a little easier but yeah this is uh, going to be very delicate work alright guys we're just waiting for it to finish up should be ready in a couple minutes to fully dry up, but before that, we're gonna put the uh, valve cover gasket on there. All right, and it will go. Piece of hair. Now there are a couple ways to do this. Um, you could line it up with the actual valve cover itself might need to some people put like sealant on each corner so it stays down so we put the new gasket in we kind of just seated it on the uh, outside of the cover push it in tucked it in it looks like it's fitting pretty nice now we're going to line it back up with here and hope the gasket doesn't fall so center and slip Centered, centered, centered. This right here needs to go up. Okay, now when you put the gasket in, the first thing that you want to do when you set it is you want to push from the middle and then kind of work your way to the outside. Go ahead and push the corners. The reason is you want it to go on as even as possible, so that's why you start from the middle, work your way out. And then, after that, just look around, make sure nothing crazy is going on, make sure it looks like it's seated properly. Okay. Alright. Looks 
looks like it's in there. Now, we've got to torque it down, and every one of these 10 millimeter uh, bolts is going to be 15 pounds. Same thing, start from the middle, work your way out. You can star pattern if you want. You just want to make sure it goes on as even as possible, like I said before. Alright guys, we got everything back in order, and this is what the final product looks like. I end up going with gold because I thought I wanted to rock something a little bit different. But yeah, uh, total it took us about, I'll say four hours, four or five hours. A lot of breaks. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, we appreciate you guys tuning in for this episode of the Teggy Build. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.